What's up, everybody? Hello, hello. Greg and Allison here. Hi, hi. And we're here to tell you our top five favorite Power BI courses. You like the little bias with some of these, mm. but we think that it'll help all of you really want to be learn in Power BI over on our on demand platform. Let's get into it. All right, number five Universal Design in Power BI. I'm a little biased because this is my class, but it is an essential learning requirement to really understand some of the government accessibility laws regarding color contrast, how to visualize, and we go into some really great theories to make your ports more accessible. I reference this class every time I'm doing anything design. If I'm in Power Pages, if I'm in SharePoint, if I'm in Power BI, because the concepts that you talk about in there are so important and so necessary whether you're in a Power BI report, really any visual medium that you're looking at data, you should be considering this to make sure that your report is accessible and for everyone to see it. Couldn't agree more. Wow. All right, number four, it's not ours, but it is Angelica's and we think it is one that is so important for every person that is working in Power BI and it's security. Oh, so, so, so many questions regarding security, how to set it up. One thing I like particularly about this class is dynamic security tables in your data model. That is one you cannot miss. Security, it stresses me out, but this class walks you through it in a really easy way so that way you can understand exactly how the process works. The pieces that you work on in the desktop are the pieces you work on in the cloud. And it's pretty it's short too. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll see. All right, number three. This is going to be data shaping in Power BI. So crucial. This is great because it's going to incorporate a lot of the elements of working with the Power Query, but also how we can leverage mQuery to a more advanced capability. What we're talking about here is really diving into how your more complex data models could really be enhanced with mQuery. Power Query is one of my favorite parts of Power BI, and we have so many good scenarios in here because everyone's data isn't like a one fits all, right? You're gonna run into some really weird scenarios and this class really helps you have the confidence to fix up. Yes, yeah. <laughs> definitely a must look at. Now on to number two. Number two, this is one of my absolute favorite classes. If I taught this every single day of the year, I would be happy. And that is data storytelling. Data storytelling is all about a little bit of the psychology behind where you should lay out visuals on your report, how people navigate through them and how they understand their data based on the visuals, the color choices and all of that good stuff. Goes hand in hand with the universal design. Yeah, if you take combo off. those, you are really gonna be ahead of the game in your report visualizations and making things a little bit better. All right, last one. Drum roll. On number one. Intermediate Power BI. Now, 100% you should take beginner Power BI before this course. But these five, right, these are leveling up your game and intermediate Power BI, like six hours, but the pretty short modules and each of those have some great nuggets that will really help you level up your Power BI skills all the way from the very first phase of the Power BI life cycle, all the way to publishing and working with your data in the web. One thing I really like that you did with that class is you made it chunk sized and fun fact for me, this, the old iteration of this class was one of the first Power BI classes I watched. So you want to be maybe on the screen with us one day? That's where you need to get started. Love it. We hope you enjoy these and understand and bookmark them on our ODL so they are your next watches to really level up that Power BI game. And take a look out for the next top five.